With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Students, I hope you all are doing good. So today our question is like this. We have two samples of CH3C double bond OH that is acetic acid each of 10 gram were taken separately in two vessels containing water of 6 liter and 12 liter respectively at 27 degrees Celsius. Then the degree of dissociation of CH3C double bond OH will be more in 12 liter vessel, more in 6 liter vessel, equal in both vessels, half in 6 liter vessel than in 12 liter vessel. So we have two vessel of in which we have added 10 gram of CH3C double bond OH and in one container we have added 6 liter of water and in the other container we have added 12 liter of water. Then we have to give the idea about degree of dissociation of CH3C double bond OH that in which container degree of dissociation will be more or less. Then this is a very basic question. Okay. So what we have CH3 C double bond OH. Okay. So its dissociation in aqueous medium that is in water will be like this. There, there will be equilibrium because this is a weak acid. So its dissociation will be like this. CS3 C double bond O minus aqueous plus H plus. So this is a weak acid. So it will dissociate like this. Okay guys. Let's say at T equals to 0. That is initial concentration of CS3 C double bond OH that is acetic acid is C. It's 0, they are 0, initially they are 0 and let alpha is the degree of dissociation, alpha is the degree of dissociation, okay. Then at T equals to T equilibrium, at T equals to T equilibrium, the dissociation will be like this, this will dissociate in C alpha, so the rest concentration of C, uh, acetic acid will be C minus C alpha and the form concentration of CN, CS3, C double bond O minus and H plus will be C alpha and C alpha. So this is a very basic dissociation at equilibrium. I hope you know this. So what will be the Ka? Dissociation constant of this acetic acid will be Ka equals to C alpha into C alpha divided by C minus C alpha. This is the Ka. I hope you are understanding this. What is the Ka? Concentration of CS3 C double bond O minus into concentration of H plus divided by concentration of CS3 C double bond OH. This is the basic Ka. Okay. So it will be C square alpha square divided by C into 1 minus alpha. This will be like this. And we know alpha is very small. We know alpha is very less than less than 1 because alpha is of weak acid and degree of dissociation of weak acid is very less as compared to 1. So 1 minus alpha will be approximately equals to 1. Okay guys. So it will be Ka will be equals to C square alpha square divided by C okay because 1 minus alpha is approximately equals to 1 okay so C to C will be cancelled and then we will get Ka equals to Ka equals to C alpha C alpha square this is the value of Ka so this is the value of Ka that is dissociation constant of CS3 C double bond OH okay so now we have finded the Ka now our question is we have to give the correct relation for alpha or we can say we have to give the correct idea for alpha that is degree of dissociation. So okay I am solving it here further guys. Okay. So Ka equals to C alpha square. Then what will be the alpha? Alpha equals to under root Ka by C. Alpha equals to under root Ka by C. So this is the degree of dissociation of CS3 C double bond OH and Ka is the dissociation constant of CS3 C double bond OH. And we know Ka is constant. Ka is a constant. This is a dissociation constant for any acid. Okay. In this case, we have taken this dissociation constant for the acetic acid. So Ka is constant. So alpha that is degree of dissociation of CS3 C double bond OH will be directly proportional or we can say will be inversely proportional to root C. Okay. So this is the relation. Okay guys. This is alpha and this is the proportionality sign. Okay. This is the proportionality sign. Okay guys, this is the proportionality sign. So alpha is inversely proportional to root C. So this is the relation and C is the concentration of or we can say initial concentration of CS3 C double bond OH. Now let us back to our question. What we have given in the question? We have 10 gram 
were taken separately in two vessels containing 6 liter of water and 12 liter of water okay what is the concentration formula we have molarity equals to number of moles of solute number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution volume of solution in liters okay and we have given that 10 gram of cs3 c double bond oh is taken in both the container that means number of moles are same because molar mass because we have taken same cs3 c double bond oh in both the containers and we have taken same mass of cs3 c double bond oh in both the containers so there will be number of moles of cs3 c double bond oh will also be same in the both containers okay guys because we have uh, we have taken same mass that is 10 gram and molar and we have uh, taken same cs3 c double bond oh in both the containers that means molar mass will also the same of the basic solute that is cs3 c double bond oh so molar mass is same mass is same that means number of moles of solute will be same in both the containers that means this is same then molarity that is concentration is inversely proportional to volume Con uh, molarity will be inversely proportional to volume or we can say concentration will be inversely proportional to volume okay guys so in this 12 liter container concentration will be higher in this 12 liter container that is we have 12 liter container concentration will be higher okay sorry concentration will be lower because molarity is inversely proportional to volume if volume is higher then concentration will be lower okay so in 12 liter container in the 12 liter cs3 c double bond oh container the concentration will be lower and if concentration will be lower from this case then alpha will be higher so in 12 liter container 12 liter container concentration will be lower concentration will be lower so alpha will be higher alpha will be higher i hope you guys are understanding it so our option first that is more in 12 liter vessel this is the correct option this is the correct option alpha that is degree of dissociation will be more in 12 liter vessel because in 12 liter vessel concentration will be lower and alpha is inversely proportional to root c so if concentration is lower then alpha will be higher okay guys so this is the correct option more in 6 liter vessel this is wrong equal in both vessels this is also wrong half in 6 liter vessel then in 12 liter vessel this is also wrong because it is not inversely proportional to c it is inversely proportional to root c okay so alpha will not be half okay because in 6 liter vessel i am solving it here we know m1 uh, m molarity or we can say concentration is inversely proportional to volume so m1 by m2 that is concentration in first container divided by concentration in second container will be equals to v2 by v1 okay will be equals to v2 by v1 okay i hope you guys are understanding so we know v2 is 12 liter and v1 is 6 liter okay so i am solving it here guys i hope you are understanding it so m1 by m2 equals to 12 by 6 12 by 6 that is 2 so m1 equals to 2 times of m2 concentration of cs3 c double bond oh in first container will be twice times of second container that means concentration of 6 liter container will be tw twice of 12 liter container okay so now from this relation we have alpha 1 by alpha 2 equals to root of c2 divided by root of c1 alpha 1 by alpha 2 equals to root of c2 divided by root of c1 because alpha is inversely proportional to root c so alpha 1 by alpha 2 equals to root of c2 divided by root of c1 and we know c1 equals to tw twice of c2 c1 equals to here m1 and c1 are equal basically m1 is the molarity and it is equal to concentration so m1 or c1 are equal so c1 equals to or we or we can also write it as c1 equals to twice of c2 c1 equals to twice of c2 okay guys i hope you are understanding it so c1 equals to twice of c2 now let us put in this so alpha 1 by alpha 2 will be equals to what is c2 let us take c2 here divided by what is c1 we have twice of c2 we have twice of c2 so by solving alpha 1 by alpha 2 will be equals to 1 by root 2 so alpha 2 will be equals to root 2 times alpha 1 that is degree of dissociation in 12 liter vessel will be root 2 times degree of dissociation 
in 6 liter vessel so it is not half in 6 liter vessel it is not half in 6 liter vessel big that it is degree of dissociation in 12 liter vessel will be root 2 times 6 liter vessel so this option is also wrong so our correct option is the option first thank you guys for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today